Hey guys, this is Angry Dave here. We are doing the next installment of Boom Beach Hits. Pretty excited about this one. This is uh, the base Minotaur, which is a pretty standard base, pretty much from, I would say, choke point on up. I, I think we even give it, get it rarely on duplexity. I'll have to jog my memory on that one. But uh, it's, it's really common on Massive Attack, Forlorn Hope. And this is an Angry Crabs. This is the homie CK. CK is Angry Family Council. He's an Angry Crabs. He used to be the leader of Angry Crabs. He is an Angry Monkeys. He's an Angry Bananas. He's an Angry Lions. He's, he's pretty much everywhere right now. Uh, he is a very good player. He has 6 GBE, 4 troop damage, takes Sergeant Brick. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get this going. As always, we're going to run this all the way through. That way you guys can see the hit, and then after that we'll go ahead and break it on down. So he's bombing out the mines here. He uses one barrage and then one artillery to bomb out the mines. Then he's going to do the typewriter landing down here on the beach. And if you notice, the mortar here turns, but it doesn't fire, which is really important. And the whole reason why we're doing the typewriter landing, which is going from right all the way back to the left side, is to avoid the range on these mortars. That way you can don't have to smoke the beach. So that's the reason, if you notice when they're going back left, they are gonna travel under this mortar's range here. Just barely, but they travel back under, so which is great. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna flare up here in between these two cannons. And the mortars are gonna go ahead and fire over his troops. And then he's gonna get a smoke down right there uh, where the mortars are if you do a line from mortar to mortar. Gets his smoke down right there. He's going to go ahead and flare up to his kill zone, which is right on this building health statue. And he's smoking appropriately. And notice Brick gets a little bit ahead of troops, but not too, too much. And he gets his last smoke, which is just a single smoke. I see a lot of people double this last smoke. All you need is just the single. He's going to go ahead and flare to the core. Pops the one mine, but that's okay. And he's got five shocks, which is flamethrowers, mortars, and then each set of six rocket launchers. Boom. Nails every single one of them. Fantastic hit on this one. Boom. This was a 2.3 million Minotaur. And he took it down with no tribes, no, no special troop damage, no special GBE. Absolutely fantastic hit. So exactly the way you want to do it. So let's go ahead and break it on down. That way we can talk a little bit more and, and show everyone exactly how to do it. Now, first things first is we got to clear the mines. Now you got to clear all these mines right here around the building house statue and all the way down. That way we can walk nice and cleanly up to the core. So first one is going to be right here in between these two mines. So you see it right there. It's actually just slightly above this particular mine. And a lot of you guys might be saying, that's a little low. But if you watch, the way the barrage spreads, it actually gets all the mines you need. So slightly above that mine that I pointed out. So now that one barrage gets everything. All he's got to do is one artillery for these two mines, which already is in the air. And boom. So now he's got all the mines cleared just by using one barrage and one artillery, which is really efficient use of his gunboat energy. So now we'll zoom out. We'll go to the beach. Now he's going to do this typewriter landing. So first things first is he's going to flare this bottom right-hand corner. And you always want to flare as low as possible in the corner so your, your flare should be in the water there. Then he's going to start his boats here. And you'll see right where it is. First boat right there. Now if you look at some of the troops peek into this range and the mortar turns. But the mortar does not fire. So it's okay to lose delay on this mortar because... You're going to keep troops low and, and out of its way, and it's not in range of the kill zone, so you're not losing delay on the rush. So so he flares all the way right. Does a standard flare deploy on it. Using his eight boats on the beach. Does not deploy his, his hero here. And as soon as troops hit that flare, he's got his next flare out, and they're going back left. It's really important to, t to flare that, to time that flare very well, because if they start settling, they'll start moving up to the nearest defense, which are, or the nearest item, which would be this power cell here. And uh, then your troops are going to stay high and you're going to get picked off by the mortar. So really important to get that flare timing right and get that flare back over the left 
and keep them nice and low. Now, if you notice the troops are, are nice and low out of these mortars ranges here. So then what he's going to do, he's going to flare up to his next spot, which is going to be in between these two cannons right now. So if you notice, here's where troops are there. I would say these two vertical lines, I don't have a pointer on this one, but these two vertical lines here, uh, right below this mortar here is where you want to start your flare. And there they go. Now, if you notice, the mortars all start shooting. One, two, three shots. And he deploys brick as soon as he starts seeing the mortar do its first shot. Okay, it's really important not to do it too late because otherwise she, she may get picked off on the run. So as soon as you see this middle mortar do its first shot, then you'll drop brick. Don't worry, she will not get killed. And then you will start your smoke basically on this mortar. It'll be slightly left because troops do travel slightly left. It's basically on the mortar there. So that's his first smoke, second smoke right there, and then third smoke covering troops. And then right there, if you notice, just before this troops start hitting that flare point down low, he's already flaring up high, which is his flare spot is going to be on this building house statue. That's going to be where his troops are going to be settling and, and killing the core from. So if you notice, and this is standard on pretty much every walk, you always want to keep your troops moving. If your troops hit that this lower flare point where, where the smokes are, then what's going to happen is they're going to start to spread and then you're going to run into issues with you'll lose delay, you'll start peaking, and you may start losing troops and it just can go all bad from there. So before your troops hit that flare, your next flare should be out. That way as soon as the first troop hits that flare, then they're already walking and that way your troops stay nice and tight and, and continue walking nice and straight. Zoom back in here. So now that flare's hit and his troops are going. So there's this fourth smoke right there. Fifth smoke. And they're traveling in this little alleyway between these cells and the uh, the machine guns and machine and the mortar. So in this little alleyway, troops get nice and tight and they'll stay in there. And boom. So if you notice at this point, brick is ahead. Here's what I do on this. As soon as I get that last smoke down while Brick is still walking, I hit battle orders under smoke and I resize my screen just like this. That way I can see all my shock points in the one screen and it's as zoomed in as possible while still being able to view all my shock points. Now troops will get all, will settle and as soon as his troops start to settle, and his flare to the core is out. So now his flare to the core is out. He popped the mine that was right next to the core. That's okay. That was a boom mine this time. Usually standard is it's a non-max regular mine, which you can trip and not lose your troops and you'll be fine there. So not a worry there. Now we have five shock points on this base. So the first one is gonna be right here on this on this mine right next to the core. And you wanna get these flamethrowers right here. So if you flare on the mine, you'll get all four of these flamethrowers and keep your troops nice and safe and you won't shock your troops as well. Next next shock point is going to be these mortars here. You want to get these mortars with this sniper tower in the middle and your shock point will be on that sniper tower in the middle. That way you can get all of the nine defenses right there. Then you've got three sets of six rocket launchers. Although on this layout there is a doom cannon far right. Don't worry about that. It's usually a rocket launcher. So it'll be your first shock will be in between these two rocket launchers and the reason why you want to start up high is think about it the map is if you if you do three shocks fast if you start from high to low they should land about the same time because of the greater distance that the flares the shocks have to travel so you want to save as much of the delay as possible and shock as late as possible of course without having these defenses fire on you so that's why you want to do it top to bottom is the preferred way to do it I've seen others do bottom to top but you will you'll lose a you'll won't be able to do as much damage as if you do it from working top down so uh, you will shock directly between these two rocket launchers as your first shock second will be between these two middle rocket launchers and third one will be directly at the middle point between these two rocket launchers down here so those are gonna be your five shocks we're gonna slow this down to half speed and you'll see his shock. So his flare just hits. Now he's gonna do his first shock on that mine. There it is, second shock on the sniper tower. 
And now he's doing shock one, shock two, shock three. Boom, boom, boom. On the uh, on the rocket launchers. Now, if you noticed, the boom cannon did get a shot off, but that's okay. None of the rocket launchers fired, which is the important part. And usually that boom cannon isn't there. It's usually just another rocket launcher. Now, if you notice that right now, he just did a second uh, battle orders to get even more damage on the core. And this is a fabulous hit. Absolutely fantastic. Boom. Nails it. He did do a heal on his troops just because he had just enough GBE for a heal. He didn't have GBE to do anything else with his troops at that point. So uh, if you notice, here's the building health on that one. It is about a little over 2.3 million, which is absolutely beastly for not having a special tribe or anything like that. So exactly the way you want to take down Minotaur. Hope you guys learned a thing or two on this one. And please like the video. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, Angry Dave. Thank you guys very much for watching. Dave is out.